story time and gardening. This should be fun. One morning, I was um, headed to uh, Casey's before work, and I was at the um, coffee selection. I was getting my coffee, and this African American man with braids he approached me and he said, "What kind of coffee should I get? I notice there's a lot of coffee here. What, what kind of coffee would you suggest?" I was like, "Well, sir, I..." Um, I prefer the, you know, dark roast. It, you know, it, it's coffee. It tastes like coffee. It's um, dark roast coffee. I like my coffee to taste like coffee, not, uh, you know, watered down coffee. And he goes, you know, it isn't true what they say. You can't take advice from white folks. I started laughing and I didn't really know whether to be offended by that or, you know, so I just laughed. And he um, grabbed a cup and went to the dark roast, like I suggested. One morning, um, I was getting ready for work, so I was standing in the bedroom and facing my large mirror on the wall and putting my makeup on, getting ready for work at 4 a.m. I go in at 4 a.m. or 4.30, so it was around 3.30, actually, a.m. when I was putting my makeup on. So I hear this tapping on my window outside and I look out there the curtains were open so I look out there and there is this man standing right outside my window so I marched to the door because I had an adrenaline rush I was like I'm protective you know I'm protecting my uh, property I'm protecting my, I'm defending myself. So I open the door and I say, what the beep are you doing on my property? You get that beep off of my land. Get, you get off of my, uh, you, you get out of my yard. You get the beep out of my yard. I was cursing at him and cussing. And, um, I said, what do you want? And he goes, uh, he goes, Hey, do you got a cigarette? And I was like, no, get the beep off of my yard. Get out, get out of here. And I slammed my door really, really hard. Um, And he just like ran away. He ran away like a thief in the night, just run away. And what I was thinking was, he must have thought that I was on drugs, like on on meth or something, because I was, you know, uh, because he walked by and saw the lights on and some girl tweaking out doing her makeup in the mirror and he's probably he's probably like yeah she's got cigarettes she she'll she'll give me some cigarettes (laughs) most likely that's what i thought but in reality i was um you know i don't smoke for one thing and for two i was getting ready to go into work one evening it was around six ish my boyfriend at the time he was back in his old uh gnc truck he built it when he was young It was an old restored truck. Um, You know, the kind of trucks that you take to to car shows, old ones. He was uh, trying to back out. Uh, He was in the driveway with the truck, trying to back it up into the garage. The the garage door was open. And I was sitting there on the back porch, um, kind of watching him. And then I was also reading a book um, Sylvia Brown had wrote. um, Sylvia Brown and somebody else. I can't remember who the other guy was, but... um, about paranormal things and uh, beings and whatever. So um, I look up, take a break from reading, and I look up and I see my boyfriend at the time backing up, and I see this black shadow man right on the passenger, sitting there on the passenger side. And I was like, in my mind, I was like, you've got to be effing kidding me. Is that what I think it is? Because I was reading about that, not, not at the same exact moment, but... You know, I, I, I have read about it before, and in that book that I was reading, did mention about a black shadow man. But I remember looking at him, or, or this being, this energy, and it was alive, and you could see the black staticky, the, the movement of the uh, energy. And um, when I looked at it, my boyfriend at the time kind of moved because he was leaning, you know, to look towards the garage because he was backing into the garage and this being moved too he moved the opposite direction so I could see him he wanted me to see that he was there and I did and so I stood up and I kind of followed my boyfriend at the time when he's backing into the garage I kind of followed you know him I was standing 
in the driveway and I was kind of watching this and he kind of looked at me like, why are you watching me? But whatever. So, you know, he, this shadow man, this, this black shadow man, uh, just stayed there. This, this energy stayed there right beside my boyfriend. Um, he, he stood, he sat there in the passenger side of this truck the whole time, um, wanted me to see him. He wanted me to know he was there. And, uh, so to this day, I just thought it was just the most bizarre thing. And, and that black shadow man stayed there until my, my boyfriend closed the garage door. And then after all that, um, you know, I've, I've never seen a black shadow man before or since then, um, at all. So the thing that I wanted to tell you about that was, you know, when you read that kind of stuff, you're, you are creating it already, the possibilities, because you're bringing that out into existence. The, the reality of your, your, your mind is, is open and open to that uh, possibility of seeing the paranormal. So I know when you read that kind of stuff, it opens up that, that doorway of um, seeing that kind of stuff. So um, if you don't want to see the paranormal or anything like that, then I would suggest that you do not read anything about that kind of stuff because you're going to bring it out into existence. If you acknowledge a possibility of something, you are opening that up. So be very, very careful about that because they are there. They're there whether you can see them or not.